everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how I print my inserts back to back. So I'm going to be using Peanuts Planner Co. inserts in this video, but this will work with pretty much anything. Um, you just want to make sure, and I'll show you that the, the layout of the two different inserts you want to print back to back on the page is the same. Um, so generally within a manufacturer or whatever, it will probably work okay. So what we're going to be showing you, this is how I do my monthly setup. I've got this uh, list format monthly, and then this grid format monthly, and then this monthly tracker, and then this categorized uh, list. And all of that, they're printed back to back, and I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, so we're going to start over here. So we've got our monthly list. We've got our monthly grid. We've got our monthly tracker. And then our categorized list. So first I'm going to show you how this will work for any printable. We want to make sure that the top of the page comes out uh, on the top on both sides. So I'm just going to take, this is just a friction pen, but you can use this with really anything. Um, when, with a lot of these printables, you're going to be trimming off the edges. So just right near the top, I'm just going to put top like this. So now when we print, we um, put it so that the top here is, I don't know if you can see here, facing up. And just remember where that orientation is, draw arrows, you know, write a more descriptive uh, note, but that's going to show us where the top of the page is when it comes out the other side. So we just go ahead and start with the first one here. Click print. And you always want to make sure that you're using actual size or 100%. Um, we're just going to print one page here. Because we only want, one, only want one side of it. And just make sure it looks good here. Awesome. And... Excellent. So now we take a look, we note where it came out. You see that this is the top of the page here, but it says top on the other side. So what we really want to make sure we do is that notice the top here correlated to the right side at the bottom of the page. So now when we flip it, we want to make sure that the bottom of the other page is going to be on the other side if that makes sense. So this is a pretty simple printer. It just feeds directly through. If you have a printer that maybe pulls from an inside tray and loops around, this is where this technique is really important. You just kind of want to, you know, flip it around in your mind a couple times, make sure that you understand what's going on and that you put things in the correct direction so that you don't end up wasting paper and printing it upside down or backwards. Now this is pretty simple. We know that on the back of this track, uh, this monthly grid or monthly list, we want the grid calendar. So we just go ahead and print one copy here. Now notice it's got the calendar on both the top and the bottom here. So we've got like we don't have to worry about it too much. This is a pretty straightforward way to do it. So we're actually going to go ahead and actually print all pages for this one because we're going to print on the back of the list and then on another blank piece of paper. So we just hit print. Okay, so far so good. So on the first page here, we have this list format, and then on the other side is the grid monthly. And we're gonna take this blank page here and flip it for the next insert that we're gonna print, which is the monthly habit tracker. We're gonna do the exact same thing where we print both pages. So the first one will go on the back and the other one will go on a new page. Excellent. Go ahead and flip that second page. The first one, double check that worked correctly. And then our last insert is this uh, categorized list and we're only going to print one copy of that. Not 14. And print. 
on the back of the tracker. So that went pretty smoothly. Let's come take a look. Make sure we put these back in the right order. All right. So we're gonna just trim this and so I can show you how this worked. Got everything going. You'll notice it's like all four across. Um, so you end up with what, four different versions of this from one set of printing, if that makes sense. So we'll just trim all of these. Okay. So you'll no you may notice something here that these are on the left side and these are on the right side. Not of the frame, I mean of the planner. Miss this may make more sense once I punch them. So because, you know, it's like we printed the entire calendar twice, for example. Um, so because the calendar is on both sides of the page, here you have the full calendar. I don't know if this makes sense. It might make sense if you have it hands on a little bit better. Um, but you've got the full spread here, but this one starts with the, li the categorized list, whereas this one here starts with the, uh, the monthly list, then the grid, and ends with the categorized list. So like for a couple months, for two months, I did it this way and then I used the other half and had them in the other order. So if you really only want them in a specific order, you'll only be able to use half of the page. This might make a little bit more sense if I show you how I printed some of my weeklies a little while ago. Um, let's take a look at that. So I was going through for a while and I decided what I really wanted was both this insert and this one. So I liked having the left side of this DR144, but then I wanted the right side of this uh, DR081. And I didn't want to use this side or this side. But because what I wanted was the left from one and the right from the other, it made it really easy to print both of them back to back. So let me show you how that turned out. So here we go. Again, I'll cut it so that we can see what we're talking about. This so side with the cut lines. When you're dealing with Peanuts Planner Coat inserts, there are cut lines on page one, but not on page two. So you can use whichever side you prefer to uh, decide whether you want to use the cut lines or not. For a while, I was only printing page two because I just print, cut down the middle. But now I find that having the cut line down the middle is a little bit helpful. Just make things a little bit quicker. Anyway, I'm not gonna trim the edges, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we have one of the ones we don't want. Notice on the other side, it has the other part that we don't want. So this entire half of the page just gets tossed out, unless you wanna use it for something else. But then the halves that we do want are back to back. And so we have here the right side and the left side. And so you just have to print multiples of these. And then every week you have the same spread that you like with the left side of one insert and the right side of another. 
So hopefully that makes sense. Um, just play around with it and it can get interesting. One other technique I've never used but could possibly work in a couple of scenarios is if you wanted to maybe print the left side of something on one side and the right side on the other um, of the same side of the page, you could print one, the one that you want, or you could cover half of the page with post-it notes, feed it through with the sticky side going first so that it doesn't flap, then print the first side, then remove the post-it notes and stick them on the other side of the page to protect that side and run it through again. Um, post-it notes actually go through the printer pretty easy and so that could be a way to combine uh, inserts as well if you wanted them both on one side of the page. But generally I think it's not too hard to find things that you want to print back to back and this is how you do that. So I hope you found this useful. I got a couple of comments on my last video about how I did this. Um, I hope that things were in frame because I can't see the viewfinder right now. But in any case, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye!